Vlogger Day 667. We made it past Devil Day. Good morning. It's absolutely pouring this morning. I still don't know how to wear this thing properly. I'm gonna figure it out. In case you were worried, Paris is on the verge of getting an endless string of sunny days. Just don't worry about it. It's still a gray city. It's a very unconventional umbrella. When I say that I don't know how to, I don't know how to wear this thing. It like it tightens up in weird ways. Like it's kind of tucks around. I don't know. It has this bill, but if you tighten it, the bill comes down. I don't fully understand it. I love this rain jacket. I uh, just need to dedicate, you know, another. 30 seconds to figuring out how to adjust it properly. But I'm in the midst of a coffee run, so ain't nobody got no times for the frustrations of adjustments. It's like the perfect morning for coffee. I need to get my own little, with the chateau, for those of you who are excited to see the chateau come together, I do have a little Chemex station plan, and Kylie is leaving in like a couple of weeks, which is really sad. She just got back from Ireland, so she said that I could have her Chemex when she goes. So I've got a Chemex. I'll just need to get like a grinder, I think? Maybe she has a grinder too, I'm not sure. And then on these uh, exceptionally rainy, miserable mornings, I'll be able to just stay in and stay nice and warm and get straight to work. Basically what I'm gonna be doing today, I have a lot of work to get caught up on still. All that traveling put me behind on a couple of things, so uh, snuggle up with some coffee and get some stuff done. That's my plan. Also, just trying to watch where I go because there's an exceptional amount of dog poop out here today. I was getting a fair amount of work done here today, like working from home was working out. Until this joker started hitting things with a wrench again. Seriously, it sounds like a wrench. Like there's that rattly, that metallic rattle. Listen. What is he doing? They've been doing this for like three weeks. Ask Jacqueline, she doesn't even know what they're doing down there. Like, I don't even know if that they're, I think they're directly underneath me, but they might be like in the building that's attached to this one. It's a mystery. They're really freaking annoying though. Like it's super aggravating and I haven't eaten. So that's also part of it. I was able to stand it for a while. They're making some good progress on the map, working on the map. I need to finish my proposal. I need to do, I need to get some work done. And I was hoping to just get it done from here and not go anywhere for the afternoon. I'm, I'm going to have to go somewhere. Also, uh, Kylie, I, Dixie left me a museum pass, which I need to go from the Peloton. So maybe I'll go down there and pick that up and work there for a little bit. And then uh, I've, I've never been inside Pompey Do, like truly inside of it. So uh, Kylie and I are going to do that this afternoon, I think. See how annoying this is? Like I can't even get a sentence out without... Anyways, let's get out of here. This is obviously driving me crazy. We crossed 200 patrons this morning. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Thank you so much. I, I didn't mention that earlier because I was a little bit distracted by, you know, hammer time. But aside from that, wow, that's amazing. So thank you so much. All of my patrons who have jumped on board, for those of you who've been around for a long time as well. And actually, what I had in the past, the Patreon, it's like a six month and a year badge that I was gonna hand out. That was the old one, I had a pin, all that kind of stuff. I had to get rid of it because it wasn't really working out. However, now that we're at this level that we're at, I have some thoughts, some plans. So stick around for that. I'll tell you more about that later. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the Peloton here. Hopefully get a little bit of work done, just sit down and work with some more coffee. Grab the museum pass, thank you Dixie, and go, assuming that it has and expired. I think she said I had until today. Go to Pompidou this evening with Kylie, grab a shawarma, and uh, that's kind of the plan for the day. I'm kind of entering that season where there's a number of friends that are leaving. Paris's uh, coming and going seasons are a little bit different, but really sad to see Kylie go. So be sure to hang out with her some before she leaves, and uh, and then shortly after that, I'm actually going to be taking a trip with Natasha, which would be a lot of fun, which I told you a little bit about, and going to VidCon, which I think will be really interesting because they I was looking at the, um, the schedule for that, like the speakers list and the opportunities that come with it, way, way more interesting than VidCon Europe. Way more interesting. Like the industry track already has a ton of cool stuff on it, but there's just so many more creators that are gonna be there. People from services like Patreon that I use, I'm hoping to meet. I just, I think it's gonna be really neat. So Duncan, if you're watching this, thanks again for giving me that pass to VidCon. I really appreciate it. And I am genuinely looking forward to it. And then we'll just kind of see what we do with ourselves while we're in California as well. But in the meantime, oh yeah, and I was thinking about while I'm walking and giving updates, also thinking about going to Versailles tomorrow with Mark and going on a tour because I haven't been out to Versailles in a while. It's market day and I might be able to fly my drone out of Versailles a little bit. <laughs> Not that that's my real motivation or anything, but you know, it's up there. <laughs> Pretty much 
much spent the whole day working at the Peloton. Thank you, Dixie, for the museum pass. Definitely planning to put that to use here in a minute. Talking with Kylie about going to Pompidou, but we're trying to figure out what to do with our backpacks. Apparently, backpacks are no-no at Pompidou. Anyways, one of the things that I've been thinking about lately it, that goes hand in hand with kind of the burgeoning health that I've been undergoing, which is really good. I've been feeling a lot happier and healthier in general, and also spending some time like watching movies and thinking when I go to movies, like like actually wanting to make movies again. That was one of the things that started me out writing books and making stuff like vlogs and so forth, is that I have had this long-seated desire to make films, like feature-length films, all my life. And I kind of ran away from that for fear. We talked about this before uh, on a number of occasions, but I let fear dictate a lot of the decisions that I made, and I kind of went roundabout ways because I was scared of rejection in particular, and I got to stop being scared about that. Speaking of rejection, update, uh, Agnes Box was rejected by now I think the majority of agents and the publisher that I had it with who they said they really enjoyed it and they want to see my next book but it wasn't a good fit for them and uh, I don't take it personally really it's just business and uh, I know it's a good book but it definitely could be better I wish they would have given me notes on how to improve it because I, I definitely would like to be improving it but I've been thinking about that with my writing career and my desire to improve on the craft in particular of writing. One of the beautiful things about, we've been talking a little bit also this week about Patreon and how Patreon has completely changed my life and continues to change my life in better ways. And I think in the next six months, it's reasonable to think that I might actually be full time on YouTube, largely, mostly 80% thanks to Patreon, which is insanity. I have to redo that part, I have a feeling. So why am I so pressed? I mean, I'm, I'm already, I'm still pretty young to be a writer, so why rush it? Why worry about that so much? I wanna continue writing, continue writing books, but I was thinking about this when I was sitting, I went and watched Avengers Infinity War a second time when I went and took myself on a date the other day because I wanted to study it more. I wanted to understand better, like, what was it that made it a good movie to me? What did I enjoy it? And also because I have aspirations of creating a, a universe that's you know not not the same as Marvel's by any means, but definitely an intricate, intertwined series, much like the Cosmere universe. If you're a fan of Brandon Sanderson, and so wanting to study that more, study story, story structure, filmmaking, storytelling, all of it, like really get to know it better. The vlog is a, a regular exercise in storytelling for me, depending on the day and depending on how I approach it. And so why not take a step back? Like I definitely want to finish the Couriers trilogy. I think that's a necessity. I think I absolutely should because I've already finished the first book and kickstarted that. I might as well produce the following two just to complete that trilogy. I don't want to leave anybody hanging. And if I can't sell Agnar's box, then I'll happily self-publish it just to make sure that it's out there. But after that, I think I'm going to spend a lot of time just taking a step back, writing, rewriting, but doing a lot of outlining and structural work for the grander story that I want to tell. I think I've said this before, but I have something, I don't know, like 40, 50 books in my head as far as like different stories I want to tell, different storylines, different characters, all of it interlocking and interweaving into one universe to tell one giant story, or at least have a, a, a meta thread running through all of them to tell one final climactic story for a universe. And if I'm going to do that, I should probably take the time to actually just sit down and really, really outline everything pretty intricately because what I end up stumbling on, I was going to save this for tomorrow and talk about it on Right Early Wednesday, but it's what's in my head right now. But basically, I just want to make sure that I don't get stuck trying to do world building, development, anything like that when I run into a roadblock and I'm like, oh my gosh, like if I write this part of this story, it's going to affect these two stories over here. I need to go figure those out more now. And it turns into this cascading nightmare of just like never ending world building, which is not what I want to do. I don't want to get stuck in world building mode forever. So why not take advantage of the fact that I'm, I love vlogging. I love making YouTube videos. And if that's going to pay the bills, then why not focus on this for now and spend a few hours every day just working on fleshing out what I need to do to get ready to write all those books. And then in a few years, I'll be ready to pull the trigger and just boom, just write tons of books quickly. I mean, I've already written like 10 books. It's not like I can't finish a book. That's not the problem here. The problem is perfecting the craft, getting well positioned to write all those books properly. Anyways, I should probably figure out what's going on uh, with Kylie and, and get on the whole Pompidou situation. We're also getting a shawarma apparently. We'll do like montage of shawarma and museum visit. And that might be it for today because it was a lot of work. Lots of stuff to catch up on. Maybe I'll catch up on it later. Kickstarter problems and just work stuff. And I've, there's a lot of my brain and I had a, like a spike in anxiety this afternoon for some reason. So what I want to do now while I wait for Kylie is just sit down and like write out to-do lists and just try to organize my life a little bit better. And, uh, and I think that'll help a lot. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I hope you enjoy whatever madness comes from the rest of the evening. And I'll see you bright. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more adventures in Jay's running around like a chicken with his head cut off land. I hope that's not a real thing. Anyways. I'm trying to get my like to-do list finished while I wait for Kylie, who's supposedly around here somewhere. 
I'm just getting on top of all this stuff. I've got a plan. i got to get into a routine. I'm going to start getting on top of all this stuff. I'll share it with you soon. The whole plan, how I'm managing my time in my life right now. And we'll go from there. I don't know where she is, though. <laughs> kind of hiding behind this uh, lamp post, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's close. This way. Shawarma first. We're gonna go get a shawarma and then, I've never been inside Pompey Doo, so we'll do that. Shame. It is a shame. Shame! One more good night's sleep and I think I'm on my feet again. sign there but uh, the Paris pass doesn't get you and if you have a Paris pass which I do today doesn't get you into the exposition just so you know so uh, don't go to the top floor for that but do come to the top floor for the view because it is one of the nicest views in the city I think it might be my favorite Kylie was saying the Arc de Triomphe is her favorite it's true. there you have it <laughs> the other side. <laughs> well, we just got kicked out for 10. It was nice. I'm not the hugest fan of the collection. I think the exhibition I would have liked more, but we weren't able to go into that, unfortunately. Some parts I liked. There were some colors that I liked. I really like the saturated, the more saturated stuff though, it turns out, more than anything. The view from this place is amazing. Would I recommend coming here if you're into that kind of art, the stuff that you saw? Totally. Uh, if not so much, maybe not, but definitely come for the view if nothing else. Kylie likes this place a lot more than I do. Yes. This is like, a, this is a Kylie place. Not as much a Jay place, but you know, it's alright. It's true, yeah. So, hey, it is something different. Give it a try. I think that the design of this building is amazing, especially down like the lobby in that area, but. I don't know. Didn't really float my boat that much. I feel like a bad person saying that about him. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again, Dixie, for the hall pass. A hall pass, museum pass. It's great to go in and see the Pompey Do finally. It's on the list of things that I need to do. I think that's it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, obviously. Love to see you around, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, who knows what's going on in my life anymore.